The Bathtub by Justin Vandermark. Interior, bathroom night. The bathwater is on and running. A faint voice can be heard, but the words are not understood. Charles is holding his cell phone. The cell phone shows 911 with a talk time of two minutes. 911 operator off screen. Hello? Are you still there, sir? Hello? Sir? Whatever you're planning, it's not worth it. Hello? The voice slowly mumbles out as we reveal Charles sitting in the bathtub with his head leaning against his chest. His eyes are closed. There's a knife on the soap bar holder. He's not moving. Then he shakes his head when he hears the operator. He looks down and brings the phone up to his ear. 911 operator off screen. Sir? Sir, we're sending help your way. Charles. That's not necessary. I'm fine. He hangs up the phone, puts it on the floor, and turns the water off. He splashes some water onto his face and then gets out of the bath. He drives himself off and wraps a towel around his waist. He picks up the phone and sets it on the sink. He checks his teeth in the mirror. He grabs some floss and starts flossing. Moments later, he starts brushing his teeth. His phone lights up, revealing a picture of him and his girlfriend. A text comes in. Sarah, please don't do anything stupid because we broke up. It's not worth it. Then more text messages start popping up on his phone. Matt, hey bro, you good? Give me a call, man. Boss, don't make any rash decisions. It was only a job. There are more out there. Mom, honey, please give me a call. You know I love you, right? Dad, is everything all right, Charles? Charles smiles at all the messages. He spits in the sink and looks in the mirror. Charles, I love you all too. He turns the water on and starts rinsing off his toothbrush. Then he cups the water in his hands and sips the water. He gargles it and spits it out. Moments later, he hears his front door open. Footsteps approach the bathroom door. Then the door swings open. He has to avoid getting hit. Officer de Mendoza enters the bathroom. Charles. Hey, officer. I told the lady I didn't need you to come. Officer Mendoza just stares at the bathtub. Charles waves in front of his face, but he doesn't react. There's a shocked look on Officer Mendoza's face. Charles. Officer? What's wrong? Officer Mendoza presses his radio and turns his head to it. Officer Mendoza. I was too late. Send in the paramedics. Officer Mendoza kneels down. Charles looks at the bathtub and sees his body in there. His wrists are cut. His eyes are open. And he's in a pool of blood. Charles is in shock. He looks at his own arms and now can see the blood on his wrists where he cut them. He steps back and looks at the sink. His phone is gone along with his toothbrush and toothpaste. Officer Mendoza turns off the water and picks up the phone. Charles looks at the phone and sees mom calling. Officer Mendoza answers it. Officer Mendoza. Hello, ma'am. I'm sorry for your loss. Crying can be heard coming from the phone. Charles is in shock. He sits down on the toilet, tears rolling down his face. Charles, what have I done? Officer Mendoza kneels back down to the body. Officer Mendoza. Suicide doesn't end the pain. It just passes it along to someone else, like your mother. He brushes his hand over Charles' eyes, closing them. He looks directly at Charles sitting down. Officer Mendoza continued. So let's try this again. Officer Mendoza is in black robe like death. He stands up. Charles leans back in fear. Officer Mendoza snaps his fingers. Interior, bathroom, night. Charles opens his eyes to see that he's back in the bathtub. He looks at his wrist to see that they haven't been cut. He's holding his cell phone still. 911 operator off screen. Hello? Are you still there, sir? Hello? Sir? Whatever you're planning, it's not worth it. Hello? Charles? I'm here. Can you hear me? 911 operator off screen. Yes, I hear you. Are you alright? I'll have an officer over. Charles? No, but thank you. I'm okay. 911 operator off screen. I need to have you checked out just in case. Please stay on the line until the officer arrives. Charles' phone vibrates. He looks down to see all the text messages there. Then his mom calls. Charles, can you hold? My mom's calling. Charles answers his phone, putting 911 on hold. Charles, mom? It's so good to hear your voice. I love you too. Okay. Then I'll see you soon. Charles smiles. Exterior house, night. Officer Mendoza, in his death attire, nods his head and smiles. He turns around and walks away into the darkness, vanishing. 
black on a black screen. Never let us stumble in the road be the end of your journey. If you ever have suicide thoughts, please reach out to your suicide prevention hotline. Dial 988. Someone is always there for you. The end. <laughs>